Hi, it's Linda from Linda's Paperworks. Do you have envelopes like these with windows in them? Today I'm going to be using one similar to this, actually this one, this kind, to make Meg Journals, Junk Journal July challenges for day four, transparency, and day five. I'm combining them into one project. But if you don't have one that has this big window on it like this one does, you could still use an envelope like this one. An envelope like this could even be used to highlight different sections of a postcard like this one of the scene in Paris to show the Eiffel Tower in the, in the uh, upper one and the garden and street in the lower one or some other photograph that would work equally well. This one has a strange shape, but you could, um, just cut off the lower part and put collage paper around this to frame your window and use that part of it to make a pocket or um, a fold out, some other idea. Let's get started. And I'm glad you're here to craft along with me today. I wanna make a entry in my little um, after supper journal. And I'm gonna put it in this on this page. <clears throat> what I'm using for my fold out is a window envelope that our internet bill came in. Like this one, I've already gone ahead and uh, modified it. I cut it down to this size and I folded this over just a little bit to, to make it fit the right, actually it's gonna go this way, fit the right size in here so the, the page will close. And I also added some paper on the back just to have a little bit of interest. It's that um, dot grid pattern paper and it's very thin, which I like that because I didn't want to increase the bulk of the folder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some collage paper around this uh, edge on this. And I'm gonna set this aside and use my glue stick. And this is a piece of um, grid paper that I coffee dyed and tore off at some point. So I'm just gonna add it, add it to the top. Whoops. start over because I wanted to ink the edges of this before I glued that on anything on there so if it's not quite big enough it would just have a glue edge on it and this is a thread spool that is an empty thread spool and what I did is I put a um, felt tip like you put on your um, chairs to keep them scra from scratching the floor that's what I used as an a dauber to put to apply ink to the edges of the uh, of the paper. So I'm just push, putting in the ink and then dragging it across the edge lightly. I don't think I need too much, but I just wanted to make sure that it's not just white sticking out beyond the paper that I'm going to glue on. We had a break in our weather today. It only was in the 90s. I think 93 is what my husband said earlier. So that is wonderful. We've been having over 100 degrees every day for more than a week. And it kind of wears you down after a while when it's so hot like that. It does me anyway. I really don't like the, the really high temperatures. I've got, I'm always lived in Texas, so I'm, it's not like I'm not used to it, but I still don't like it. Okay, back to square one now. More ink on X, because it's probably dried out before I got it stuck down. And I just I want it to be just over that um, edge there where the, the window is, just barely. So it's going to have just a little bit of blue edge on the other side of that. And that's fine. And I may, I may ink it again after I get everything glued down so that it's um, consistent across there. I'm just going to trim that off like that. 
that. And that. And now I have inky finger, uh, not inky, I have sticky finger. I'm gonna get a wet wipe here, or baby wipe. I keep them in the plastic bag because I figure it probably is not that um, good of a seal on that package. Okay. I'm sure I'll need that again in two seconds. There's my, there it is. A card that I'm going to press that down with to make it good and flat. Okay. Now on this one, I'm gonna put it on this side, I believe. And put that like that. And then I, what I plan to do is just fold that over the edge to the other side. But I'm gonna ink this because it has a torn edge on it that's showing white there. I'm using my Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue Stick Permanent Bond. Hope that's true. You never know about glue sticks if they're permanent or not, but it says it is, so hopefully it lives up to the advertising. Oh, I'm wrinkling everything up today. I'm just covering up that corner where that is rounded. I like the way it looks rounded, but um, it's kind of hard to have rounded corners when you do this. So I'm just going to press it like that and hope that that is about even. I think it is. I'm just fold this around to the back. And I chose that blue paper because this little tag that I made that's on the opposite page of this has a, has that paper on it. So a little continuity between the two pages. And then this um, striped paper is some that I added. Um, I added a cover to this back section that's a little sturdier than this dotted paper, which is kind of thin. So I added that to protect that a little bit and give it the whole section a little more um, sturdiness, I guess is the word. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this edge. What I'm going to do is use this down here and then also across the bottom, use the same paper. I hope that looks good, it'll be going this way here and that way, the stripes will. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that up to the top and make sure I have enough to go across here now. Yeah, that will work. So I'm just gonna cut that. getting fewer and fewer of these envelopes in the mail anymore. So, I guess my stash of them is a good thing to have because you never know when you're not gonna have them anymore. Okay, that has a little one place there that's, I'm just gonna call that added interest. in the bottom piece. Let's see if I want it to go that way or this way. I think it looks better going that way. I may cut just a little bit of that off, show a little more flower. Okay, that 
is that size. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna put in that pocket, but I will find something. It's gonna go this way into the book. I need to glue this down, that's what I need to do first. And I think I'm just gonna glue to about there and just leave the rest of it so it has a little more room in there. Plus, it's, um, it doesn't come all the way across, it's just on that paper. Not too much glue on my paper. actually a credit card, but um, it makes it, it's, it's got a good sturdy feel to it, so I can press my papers down. Now, this is going into the book, and then I'm going to put, um, actually I'm going to ink the edge of that. What, I, what I'm going to put on, on top of this is, um, I was doing some playing around, Rachel from Roxy Creations was painting on, on book page, and so I did some just for fun last week or the week before sometime recently, and um, it is a lot of fun, but she was talking about just don't rinse out your brush, just get another color and, and keep going, and that's what I was doing. Anyway, these are some that I did, and this one is a blue one that I did with blue watercolors. And I'm gonna use a little bit of um, cheesecloth in this bird, which is a Says Phoebe. And I have no idea if we have these birds around our area or not. In the book, it said that they um, are mainly in the Northwest. So maybe we don't, they, they might come through or something, I don't know. Anyway, that's my plan. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is ink the edge of this. I'm just going to glue this part of this page across this. Um, I hope that's a good idea for the flip out. This page, this paper is that um, practice paper where kids learn to write and print. And I'm wondering, maybe I should put a little bit of washi tape on that that fold because it's it's probably not going to be really very durable. I chose this one. It's not very wide, which is fine with me. I don't really want it sticking out too much on that. But it's not very sticky either, so I'm gonna run run my glue stick over it before I put it on the on the page. This may be a little bit tricky. I'll put this in here. Have something to press against when I put it down. It's just kind of a botanical print, which I think is pretty. And it's a little bit on the blue-green side, but I guess that's okay, too. It's probably more than I needed, but that's the way it goes. Okay. I think I'll just wrap it to the other side so there's a little bit of extra on the edge to, to reinforce it. straight. Come on now. There we go. Now I will just refold it. That. And I think that 
will be a good idea to, to keep it from tearing at that bend, which I might do. Okay, now back to where we were. I'm gonna glue this in here. And then that will flip out this way. All right, I'm gonna put my glue on this, this side of this. And I don't want glue all over my mat, so I'm gonna put this down again. It just has a little, a little bit of uh, washi tape there on the edge. That is kind of, I might put a little extra up there just to make it look a little better. Okay, finally. Let's press that down. Okay, now I need to put my bird and my, my uh, cheesecloth on here. I'm, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for that. The new bottle. Let's see, I think I'll do this separately. Okay, where you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of tapping it around on this, but not too close to the edge because I don't want that part to be glued down too, too much. Just kind of want it to be in the middle. And then when I glue the bird on top, that will hold everything together a little better. And I'm gonna glue him down with the um, Fabri-Tac also. I guess I could have also said this was fussy cutting because I did fussy cut this little bird out of the, the bird book. Can't tell if it's coming out or not. There we go. Just glue him there. I think I will put um, a little more washi tape on that edge. Just, just to decorate it a little bit. And it's going to be sticking out beyond that um, torn edge there. I used the other thumb before, now I'll have this thumb glued. <laughs> Thank goodness for baby wipes. Oh, let's see. Half the time I feel like I need three hands. Okay. I'm not gonna go over that edge again because uh, I don't wanna make it too thick where it folds. I'll just do it like that. Okay. Okay, I'm 
let's see. What do I want to do? That looks cute there. I'm just going to add a little more ink to this edge so that there's blue sticking out behind the, the paper. Get over here where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, come on now. That seems to have something on it that it didn't want to take the ink. Maybe glue. Okay, let's see how that does. Okay, what is it? There it is. I think I like that. That blue is similar to those blues, so I think that looks okay. Okay, so I just need to put glue all over the back of this and stick it down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use both glue stick and Fabri-Tac on this to glue it down on this page. This is, this page, this paper is from this little satin Danish book that I found at the library for free on the free shelf. And the paper in it, it's, it's got a um, smooth surface to it, but it's not shiny. So it's really nice to paint on. I enjoy painting on it. And I'm glad to have more of it left to, uh, to paint on. Although some of it you don't really want to include in your journal. It's like I'm sick and I'm having, <coughs> need a doctor and describing symptoms and things that <laughs> you might not want to include. Another case of checking your pages before you put them in your journal. Okay. Oops, get the glue off again. And I'm just gonna go around the edge of this with the Fabri-Tac to um, hold it on just a little bit better. I'll put glue in the middle too, what the heck. Okay. Adjust it to this side because I want it to be over that um, tape. It's showing a little bit and straight if possible. Let's see if I can fold this out flat and press it better. stuck down really well so they don't pop up. Okay. All right, I like that. I think that looks cute. And then this folds open. And here's writing space and the fold that has a window to put a picture or something back there. And I need to close the top because I'm, I want it to be side loading. But I think what I'm gonna do first is put a divot right here so that um, it's easier to take things in and out of it. And this is my, I think this is a one hole, punch, one inch hole punch. And I like to just um, kind of center it top to bottom and um, maybe about that much. There we go. And I like to put just a little glue around the edge of that. Just give it a little finished look there. And then I'm going to glue the top down and we have a side part. My lighting is not the best today. It's kind of, it's almost overcast. I don't know if we're going to be blessed with a rain or if it's just um, summer clouds. Sure would be nice to have some rain. Okay. Get my glue eraser. Pick that up. Okay. 
Now I think that I would like a little something right down here. And he didn't get glued down there too well. He needs a little more glue. there was room there to put a tab on it so it was obvious that it should flip out. I may come back to add something else to this later but I think I'm going to stop for now and I appreciate your coming by and visiting with me today and crafting with me. So this is the flip out and the transparency. I'm going to find something to put in that pocket too. Maybe a photograph or a piece of artwork or maybe something else. I don't know. I worked some more yesterday on my after supper journal, the page that I had been working on, this page with the bird, to finish it up and to put something in the pocket. And I thought I'd just do a quick um, overview of it so you could see what I ended up with. This is the same as you last saw it with the bird on it. And then on this page, I had a Happy Mail package from my friend and she sent me um, some stamps, these stamps that she got at a discount at Hobby Lobby, and some other things, and this little kitty cat card. And I wanted to, to keep him, uh, keep her, she has a dress on, um, not glue it down to the page or to the card. So what I did is I decided to put a uh, belly band of lace across there to slide her in behind. I used the lace to hold the card in place so I wouldn't uh, mess up the back of it by gluing it down. And then on the back, I just put this lined paper on this side with a bit of this blue, same blue uh, scrapbooking paper that I used in other places on the edge and folded the lace around to make a little tab to pull, make the card easier to get out of the pocket. So that goes in here. And I like to put it up kind of high where the, uh, the XO is up close to that. And then the other thing I did is I traced this from, um, my Wildflowers book, this book. I like this um, this flower, which is chicory, the blue. I thought it would look pretty on there. So what I did is I just traced it on vellum and then painted it with watercolors and inked the edges of it and glued it on with Fabri-Tac so it would stay put. So that's how I finished up the fold out and transparency prompts for my journal. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make part of it and seeing how it ended up. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.